Okay, here's the question. Find the area and volume of a box that is 10 centimeters wide, 5 centimeters long, and 2 centimeters high. Well, when you say area, I'm going to assume that you're talking about the surface area of the box. So let's go ahead and start. So this box, and let's see if I can draw this. This box is going to look something like this. Eh, that's not bad, I guess. And we're told it's got a width of 10 centimeters, a length of 5 centimeters, and a height of 2 centimeters. Well, the volume of the box is, that's the easy calculation of the two. It's the easier one, at least. And that's just going to be equal to the, to the length times the width times the height. And that's just going to be equal to 5 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 2 centimeters, which is equal to 5 times 10 times 2, which is 100 and then centimeters cubed. or cubic centimeters. And we know it's going to be cubic because we're talking about a volume. Now the area, and specifically the surface area, is just going to be, you got to remember that a box is made up of six faces. And each of those faces is going to have an area. And so to find the surface area of the box, we're just going to add up the areas of each of those six faces. So let's start with this one right here. This face has dimensions of 10 by 2. And remember, if this face is in the front, there's one just like it in the back of the box. So there are going to be two of them. And then similarly, there's this face on top here, and that's got dimensions of 10 centimeters by five centimeters. And then finally, oh yeah, and then this face right here, if there's faces on top, there's one just like it on the bottom. And then this side right here, this face, is going to have dimensions of five centimeters by two centimeters. And I'm not going to put the units in because I've run out of room. But anyway, so and again, for this face, there's one just like it on the other side of the box over here somewhere. We can't really see it. So anyway, we take those six faces and we add them up. So there's this face in the front, which is the width times the height. And we're going to multiply it by 2 because there's one just like it on the back, in the back. And then we've also got this face on top, which is going to be the width times the length. And there are two of those. There's one on the bottom also, right here, somewhere down here. And then finally, there's this face, which is the length times the height. And again, if there's this face here, there's another one just over here somewhere, so there are two of them. So this side, and there are two of them. This face, and there are two of them. This face, and there are two of them. So a total of six faces on this box. And we just go ahead and plug in here. So we get two times, this first one was 10 centimeters times two centimeters, plus two times... 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters plus 2 times 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters. So if we go ahead and simplify this, this becomes 2 times 10 times 2 is 20. So this becomes 20 centimeters squared plus 2 
times 10 times 5 is 50 centimeters squared plus 2 times 5 times 2 is 10 centimeters squared. And so this becomes 2 times 20 is 40 centimeters squared plus 2 times 50 is 100 centimeters squared plus 2 times 10 is 20 centimeters squared. It's for a total of 160 centimeters squared. And that's for the surface area. And notice again that surface area, that area is going to be in terms of square centimeters or centimeters squared. And volume is in terms of cubic centimeters. Hope that answers your question.